Welcome to Stylus RMX 1.5. There's a ton of new stuff to check out in this update, so I'm going to take you on a very quick tour in this video of where you can find all the new features and sounds. Alright, let's head over to the Mixer page where you can find the brand new patch library right here. In multi mode, when I click on this, you're going to see a brand new selection of factory multis, and you can see right away they're all organized by genre. Now there's 500 new multis in all types of categories from cinematic to club to electronica to ethno to experimental. This is the incredible stuff here. We're really proud of these. Do not miss these. Likewise, brand new 250 kits. These are amazing. Uh, for instance, these ambient kits. Check out like the Gamelin kit and some of these uh, huge ambient kits. They're a lot of fun. So make sure you check those out. Let's get into the new reference guide. And we've had lots of people asking, you know, when are we going to have the manual for RMX? Well, here it is. And it's uh, integrated into the plugin into a help system. So we go down to the help menu on utility, pop it open, and there's the new reference guide. And this is awesome. 68,000 words that covers everything you'd ever want to know about RMX. There's a whole video about just using the uh, this particular guide. And I'd like to direct you that there. I will say really fast that we can uh, search very quickly. Like, for instance, if we wanted to find the, something about the flame distortion, we can go straight there. Uh, it's just a great system. Very, very fast to get around. So let's go back to RMX. And let's check out the new Chaos feature, which is called Buzz. This is a very cool sound design feature for stutter edits and uh, really unique sounds for experimental music. There's a whole video on this called Chaos Buzz. Watch it or check out the section in the reference guide. They're both very, very useful to check out for this new feature. All right, let's go to the browser because a lot of people have asked us, are you guys ever going to have it where you can search by uh, type of genre or mood? And that's what we've done here is we've recategorized the library so you can actually search it by all the energetic type of grooves. Or you can also see breakbeats only. Or you can see all the swing grooves or all the club grooves or all the urban grooves. So this is really, really cool and saves a lot of time. Also in Groove Elements, we've got a couple of brand new suites. For instance, we've got um, 4x4 kicks. These are all new elements. And they're all four on the floor pumping kicks for doing club music. The European guys will love this. Anybody doing remixes, you got your four on the floor kicks right here straight away. Now let's go to Tona Elements. These are all the Tona Elements from the RMX Core Library and Classic Library. It's all organized in one folder. Also got a new set of example groove menus. Not only the original Classic Stylus groove and swing menus like, we've, like we included originally, but now we have new ones that include all of the elements from the Core Library uh, for drum and bass, electronica, film score, percussion, uh, urban groove menus. And of course, the main thing that you want to realize about these is that you want to be in groove menu mode. All right, let's go back to the utility menu and check out some of the other new things. We have a new part author info, which is very useful for seeing who created the original elements in the core library. Also, we've got new MIDI learn capabilities, including the ability to load uh, hardware templates that we provided. And this is where the hardware templates are located. We've got them for the Behringer BCF2000, the BCR2000, the Core Control 49, Microcontrol, M-Audio 02, Ozonic, Trigger Finger, and others, and even templates for creating your own. There's tutorials for each of those templates and also a tutorial on how to set it up yourself. I recommend those highly. Very cool stuff. All right, let's go over to edit groups. We now have 16 active edit groups uh, simultaneously, and there's new enhancements for using Edit groups in groove menu mode. So check that out too. Over here in the LFO area, we can now sync to not only the tempo, uh, but actually to the bar and beat of the song. So that is a greatly improved LFO section. Also, we have a new update for the Sage Converter. The 1.5 version uh, adds support for four new groove control libraries, including Big Bad Beats, Ethno Techno, Stark Raving Beats, and Noise Box in both Roland and Akai. And you can drag and drop Rex files directly onto the uh, Sage Converter and entire Rex libraries with one drag. Last but not least, we have four and a half.